Welcome back to part six. In this part, I'm going to demonstrate how to use your GCC compiler as a linter tool in order to help you write better code. Strictly speaking, compilers only check for valid syntax. Though a program may be syntactically correct, it may still have bugs. If a program has valid syntax, it'll compile and it'll run, but it may not give the correct results, or it may result in a fatal error or segmentation fault. Static analysis tools are a category of software tools that analyze the structure of code to detect potential errors or bugs. These types of tools analyze code before actually running it. A linter is such a utility that's used to identify potential bugs or issues. The term is similar to lint on your clothes. Though your clothes may be clean, they can still have some lint or bits of fiber that you don't want on them. With clothing, you can use a lint brush to get rid of them. A linter in terms of software searches otherwise clean or syntactically correct code that may otherwise have undesirable error-prone elements in it. Though there are a lot of static analysis tools out there, one of the simplest that you can use is the GCC compiler itself. You can direct GCC to print out every warning, not just errors or some warnings. This can be really helpful to find issues that may lead to bugs in your programs. Let's take a look at an example. Here's our same average program from before, but I've screwed it up big time. Let's try to compile it first. This is a full-blown error. There's a syntax error in the program. GCC is telling me on what line it starts and what column it starts, and the type of error. In this case, I omitted my closing star slash. Let's try to compile again. Again, there are lots of er warnings and errors here. It's best to start at the top. On line 13, column 20, I missed a semicolon. On line 21, column 10, it says that I've used an undeclared identifier, enter. But that's actually not the error. On line 21, I simply forgot the double quotes. Though GCC can tell you the line number, it's not always accurate in the type of error. Let's try it again. Now it actually compiled, but when I run it, I get a segmentation fault. That's because of all of these warnings. Depending on your setup, you may have seen the following instead. On some systems, including the CSE server, it's not configured to list all of the warnings. So let's force GCC to list all of the potential issues that we have using the WALL flag, which stands for warnings, all of them. We actually get seven. Let's start at the top. The first one is on line 16, column 15. The format that we've specified is percent %c, but a is a double. LF is the proper placeholder. We made the same mistake on line 26. Percent %d is for integers, but a is a float. Likewise, in column 57, we have the same issue. Let's fix both of those. Let's recompile and see what's been fixed. We still have several warnings. Line 16 is still a warning. Double star is a pointer but the argument is of type double. Again, we'll get into this when we get into pass by reference and pass by value. But the big red flag here is that I forgot my ampersand and it's warning me about it now. Line 26 still has a warning, but it's a different type of warning now as well. We have one, two, three, four placeholders, but we've only provided three arguments. Let's fix that. 
we meant to print average at the end. I fixed two of those issues, but it actually had the effect of fixing four of those warnings because they were related. The final warning that I want to fix is an unused variable D. Again, it wasn't a syntax error, and it's not that big of a deal if we have a variable that's unused. But it is what's called a code smell. In other words, we might have intended to use it because we declared it, but it's warning us that we never actually did. So our code has a smell or a stink to it that we should address. And now when we compile, all of our syntax errors are corrected and all of the warnings have been addressed. And we've got a perfectly running program. Linters are not guaranteed to catch all bugs, but they will help you with a lot of common issues.